power of the Chucky Colt. Please do everything in your power to make sure this show don't get canceled. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. Chucky Boy here, bringing you another Chucky update. Every month I'm gonna make sure to at least make a couple Chucky updates because I seriously want to do everything in my power to spread awareness of this good show. At least I hope it's good. What we're gonna be talking about today is some more details about the TV show that we've learned when they're gonna start shooting. Also some returning characters from the original cast. That is so much more guys. So if you're a fan of Chucky and want to make sure this show lasts at least three seasons hit that like button so this video can get spread out through youtube and get more people aware that chucky's coming to a tv near you all right so the first thing that really tingled chucky boy's voodoo knife is that the chucky tv series will begin filming in may in toronto that is only a few months away and once filming begins you know we're gonna get set photos we're gonna get a lot more details of the plot but one thing for sure that is going over a lot of people's heads that they have to realize if this show got a series order from sci-fi i'm pretty sure there's a pilot out there that we have yet to see. Don Mancini was pretty adamant that this Chucky TV series was happening and he threw us hints and he even gave us a little promotional poster when the show was called Child's Play TV series at the time. But it wasn't until the beginning of this year where it actually got greenlit for a full series order and for that to usually happen means they showed them one episode of what Don Mancini wants to do and that one episode is what led Sci-Fi to go, yeah. Series order, please. It's crazy to think that the first episode of Chucky is actually already out there in someone's hard drive. Someone has witnessed this thing. And I think it further confirms that we will see this TV series premiere in 2020, most likely in October, around Halloween time. But it's good to know everything is on track and running smoothly. Some behind the scenes photos that Don Mancini has posted from the writer's room really get me intrigued to what this television series could be. Because we gotta be honest with ourselves. There is a side of us that love Don Mancini and there's another side that it's like I'm okay if the series happens without Don Mancini. Me, I'm a lover of Don Mancini because that man created Child's Play 2 and I still consider that the holy grail of Child's Play movies but of course I can't ignore he did see to Chucky also. But honestly, this TV series should absolutely please both the Don Mancini lovers and the Don Mancini dislikers. Because this right here is the entire writer's room that'll be working. So we are going to have multiple heads on this Chucky TV series, throwing out ideas, balancing each other out. It's not just going to be solely Don Mancini's ideas being put. Because I guarantee you, if we would have had this sort of writer's room situation during Seed of Chucky... It could have been a pretty fantastic film because there's a lot of things in Seed of Chucky I actually do like. And if someone was just there to hold on a little bit back and tame things, I think we could have had another cult classic like Bride of Chucky. But the other set photo from the writer's room that confirms the return of a character that is no surprise they kind of have to return is we have Fiona Dorif, who is Brad Dorif's daughter, also the character of Nika in the Child's Play series, visiting the writer's room with Don Mancini. Now, if you're not really going to be part of this television series she has no business whatsoever just paying a random visit to the show but if she is going to be involved in the television series and her character is going to do something it would make sense that the writer's room would meet this actress because that would help out the writers in the room figure out what kind of person she is what they could do with her character just get an idea of her personality and how they can make that work into the television series but this also confirms that the television series will be touching upon the end of cult of chuck Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie where it ends with Chucky taking over the body of Nika getting in a car with Tiffany and riding off to go do crazy things probably in the small town that will be seen in this television series. So while I am excited for Nika to be part of this and her to show up I have a feeling she's only gonna show up in the very first episode where she goes ahead and brings a doll to life puts it in a package, and sends it off to this small town. Remember, the premise of this television series is that a Chucky doll shows up at a yard sale to a small town, and we're going to be uncovering the origin of Charles Lee Ray like we've never seen before, what his life was like before he decided to possess a good guy doll and go after Andy Barkley. So in this television series, I'm pretty sure we're most likely going to be following a side story of Chucky while Nika, the, I guess, OG Chucky, is going ahead, continuing on with their master plan or maybe setting up events for season 
season two. But with the most recent biggest news on the Chucky TV series is that Jennifer Tilly came out and confirmed she will be part of it. I love me Jennifer Tilly, more specifically her character of Tiffany involved with Chucky. And in the most recent movies, Cult of Chucky and Curse of Chucky, Tiffany is not given a whole lot to do. Heck, in Curse, she's given almost nothing to do. So of course I got extremely excited that she'll be part of the television series, but if you read her comments exactly, I also think she's going to have a very small role where it might only be one or two episodes the entire season. This is exactly what she had to say about it. I'm so excited. Chucky is very near and dear to my heart. All over the world, everywhere I go, I step off a plane to a country I didn't even know existed and they know one word and that word is Chucky. And they want a hug. Don Mancini, who created the original Chucky 30 years ago, is the writer on this series, so it's original Chucky. Mancini's partner is Nick Antosca, who did Channel Zero, which is a very chilling anthology of horror stories. So a little bird told me that I am going to be a part of it. And that last part right there where she says, I am going to be part of it does not sell me well that she's going to have such a huge role. Now, Jennifer Tilly could be playing coy and she knows exactly how much of the show she'll be in. In fact, I can probably bet you that she knows exactly everything that'll go down in this series because her and Don Mancini are very good friends in real life. But with the television series telling us the untold origin of Charles Lee Ray, we're definitely going to be getting a bunch of flashbacks or at least backstory to Charles' early life and one of those has to be how he met his Tiffany. And that fascinates me, man, because like a character like Charles Lee Ray falling in love and what he did to catch Tiffany's attention and then him finding out she's just as psychotic as him, or heck, maybe Tiffany was a good little girl and it's a whole Joker Harley Quinn situation where Charles Lee Ray had to kind of turn her evil, thus creating a monster and one of his future enemies. If she is involved and we're getting that backstory from Charles Lee Ray, I can only assume they're going to cast younger versions of Charles Lee Ray, of Tiffany, and other characters from Chucky's past that could return and would make sense with the series are people like Eddie Caputo. He was the original partner for Charles Lee Ray, ditched them, and then Chucky got his revenge in the first Child's Play movie, seeing their friendship, and then what will eventually happen to them in the future. That's something I definitely want to know. We could also have Detective Mike Norris, who from the sounds of the first Child's Play was on Charles Lee Ray's case for the longest time we could get a young detective Mike Norris but probably the one that has me the most interested to see what they would do is the original voodoo teacher John Bishop to be exact which is the person who taught Charles Lee Ray basically everything he knows of what led him to be inside Chucky to get the heart of Dimbala and if you go back and watch that first child's play movie it sounds like John Bishop is a good guy is a person who teaches voodoo to help others maybe even for medical purposes but Charles Charles Lee Ray conned him, acted like a good guy, learned everything he could, and then used those teachings for evil. Having a couple of episodes where it's flashbacks of Charles Lee Ray playing this good guy, eventually ending up in a good guy, I think is just poetic. But it also means that Don Mancini has finally accepted this voodoo side to Chucky. Because if you're not aware, it was never Don Mancini's idea for Chucky to have voodoo. His original idea was that Chucky was gonna manifest in a supernatural way from the hatred Andy Barkley was giving off from the bullies in his life, whether it be a school teacher, an actual student bully, or anyone who was harming Andy Barkley, and the doll would come to life, protect its owner, and then go back to sleep. Now, the director of the original Child's Play didn't think that that was a good idea and he added the elements of voodoo and it's led to some interesting lore for the Chucky character which I kind of prefer but now seeing that Don Mancini has accepted it fully heck he's even embracing it with giving Chucky these powers to possess different dolls I now want to see the way he sets up and builds the lore for Chucky learning all this voodoo from John Bishop and the final note I'm going to end it off is if Jennifer Tilly is confirmed to be in the television series and she is going to have some sort of role then this has to mean that Glenn slash Glenda also is involved. Ever since Seed of Chucky and the way Universal feels about that property, they have forced Don Mancini to never mention Glenn or Glenda again in future sequels. There's an interview where Jennifer Tilly specifically says that where Glenn and Glenda were supposed to be mentioned in Cult of Chucky, but they told him to cut that out because they don't want any mention of those characters. I feel now that it's in television form, I don't think Universal is going to be that hard on Don Mancini like, no, don't mention those characters. I'm pretty sure he has the freedom to do it and I actually want to see justice for them. We had a part in the synopsis of the television series where it says that Chucky's enemies from the past 
will come back to stop him once they see news that bodies are popping up and people are pointing to a doll being responsible. If Glenn is out there and knows his father's doing wrong, I wouldn't be surprised if he teams up with Andy and comes to stop his own father and then his sister has to fight Glenn. Again, getting into the crazy Chucky lore, but don't forget, Chucky technically has two children in separate bodies. Glenda, who is basically Chucky reincarnated, super evil, and I'm really interested to see some of that character. And Glenn, who just decided to become a regular person, is probably out being an accountant. There's really so much to go on here, and this television series better do Chucky justice, because I want to see this thing, and I want to support it, and you guys better as well. I definitely want to hear your guys' theories and opinions from everything we've heard so far. Get as geeky as possible, because I love this stuff when it comes to Chucky. But be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chucky Boy. Take care.